Hi, this is Don Mays, and uh, this is our Macedon volume series. This is the seventh in the series, and what we're going to be discussing today is the um, external launcher within volume, and we're using it to uh, create an integration to UPS World Ship. So the basic business scenario is that UPS is your main shipping partner and you want to easily be able to follow up with tracking numbers from either within WorldShip or within um, SAP. So what we need to do is we need to set up WorldShip integration process. There's going to be some uh, extra tables and a view that is used within SAP to integrate to, uh, to WorldShip. And uh, WorldShip is going to populate a UPS table with the charges and tracking information. And then we're going to go and use the external launcher itself to go in and uh, view the uh, access to the tracking numbers and see what the status is. So what we have here, we're going to go in and create a sales order. I'm going to use Earthshaker, which is a basic customer. Let me go into Earthshaker and just kind of give you some idea of what we've added. Uh, we've got a customer UPS account, which is the UPS account we're going to use for this customer, assuming the ship to address doesn't have its own. So you could have one customer, six or seven uh, ship to addresses, and each one of them could have their own uh, UPS account. And then we have some flags in here about whether the default is to insure and whether the default is this address is a residence, yes or no. Okay, so back here, we'll just go and create a Okay, so we've got a sales order in here. If we look at a logistics tab, we can see that it's inherited some of the attributes from the customer and the ship to address. So we've got the account is the 888 number. I'm going to turn off the insurance here. We're not insuring this uh, particular one. And then we would add the sales order. Okay, so the sales order has been added. We've got logistics here. It's an, uh, how it, the account number is being used, etc. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to go in and create a delivery. So you're going to send it out to the floor. The floor is going to go pick the product. Uh, UPS is going to go in and uh, use World Ship to go in and, and uh, package and label the, uh, the shipment. And then we're going to create the delivery order from that. <clears throat> so we've got the bolts and logistics here. We also have the same accounts. We could uh, alter things in here. And when we get right down to it, we're going to add it in. And when we go back in and take a look at this last document, we can see that it created a uh, tracking number with it and uh, $8.22 of freight. And then if we want to go in and look at the uh, UPS, we double click on that. And what we see is that that connected directly to UPS. In this case, I've got an old tracking number uh, that is more than 120 days old. So it basically is not showing me the tracking. And that's pretty much how it works. There's not much else to it. There's a behind the scenes uh, file. I'll show you the UPS tracking file. This is the uh, UPS table. It's a SQL table and it's got our shipper number, 
It's got the package number. You can see that in some cases, it'll have more than one package number. It's got the cost. And then it's got a flag that says um, who, gets, who gets charged ourselves or the customer. In this particular case, we've done ourselves. Um, so that is basically the uh, information is how it works. From world ship viewpoint, it is essentially you're on world ship, you enter in a sales order number and it pulls across all of the customer name, address, um, uh, customer accounts, all of those kinds of things. So there's a more detailed uh, Word document that explains everything about the Boy B1 functions used in this uh, in a great deal of detail. Uh, you can email me if you've got more questions or give me a call at 248-568-0418. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and look forward to uh, hearing from you in the future.